start with breaking news out of Twitter. Multiple reports now saying Elon Musk has officially taken over the San Francisco based social media company. And Ann Makovic is joining us now with this news coming out in the past hour or so. Yeah. We're checking his Twitter account. He hasn't officially made that announcement. He's been tweeting, but hasn't said the takeover. Right, right. So I, I think that's when it'll be official, official <laughs> when him. we see his tweet, because you know he's going to have plenty to say about it. But multiple outlets reporting that Elon Musk has. Has officially taken control of Twitter just a day ahead of the deadline to complete the deal or face a lengthy court battle. Reports from people inside the company say the first thing he did was fire several top executives, including the CEO, Parag Argwal, the CFO, and the head of the company's legal department. Now, yesterday, Musk changed his Twitter bio to Chief Twit and showed up at Twitter headquarters carrying a sink. He tweeted, Let that sink in. CNET's editor at large, Ian Schur, said the obvious. He is not coming in quietly. Elon Musk started uh, his acquisition of Twitter really by doing a telling campaign instead of a listening campaign, right? He, he told them how the management wasn't doing the right job, and he told them how he didn't agree with a lot of the things they were doing and how bad a company they were. And so it's, it's hard to imagine him coming in and suddenly giving everyone a bear hug and saying, all right, let's get to work. Now, earlier today, Musk sent this tweet to advertisers saying he believes that it's important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square, but that he doesn't want the platform to become a, quote, free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. Now, he will likely be lifting some of the restrictions and bans that Twitter has in place. And if that happens, we could see people like former President Trump being reinstated on Twitter. Some of the company's biggest clients, though, have already asked that their ads would be paused if that would happen. Hmm. So it's going to be a balancing act between, you know, what he considers free speech and also wanting to get that money going. Well, that's true. Free for all with consequences. Right. Okay, so that's the, the hot button issue if you're going to have certain people join back on, sure, right? Sure, sure. And, and you mentioned we've been seeing other tweets from him. Yeah, uh, you looking. know, SpaceX. Tesla. Yeah. These are the other uh, deals he has going. So it's going to be interesting to see how much chutzpah he puts into Twitter in the coming days. Yeah, good point. Okay, I'm looking. Falcon rockets to orbit. That's the last 13 minutes right now. Got a lot of those minds. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Anne. Okay.